Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Red? Oh, are we going to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Uh, no, we're not going to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, maybe we're going to make jelly toast. <laughs> Uh, no, we're not going to make jelly toast either. <gasps> Maybe we're going to make dough balls. Uh, no, we're not going to make dough balls. Yeah, like this. Ow, brother. Hey friends, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-host, Keziah. Hello! And today, we're going to have some fun learning about yeast. Yeast? I thought we were going to learn about bread. Well, no, we're going to use bread to demonstrate yeast. Oh, well that makes sense. I just have one question. What's that? What exactly is yeast? Well, that's a great question. Isn't it that stuff that makes bread rise? Well, yeast is actually a single cell living organism that transforms sugar and starch into carbon dioxide. Its scientific name is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which quite literally means sugar-eating fungus. What? Well, it's that um, stuff that makes bread rise. That's what I thought. You're pretty smart. So what's yeast got to do with the Bible? Are you kidding me? The Bible talks quite a bit about yeast. Let's take a look at our verse for the day. It comes from Matthew 13, 33, where it says, God's kingdom is like yeast that a woman works into the dough for dozens of loaves of barley bread and wastes while the dough rises. How is God's kingdom like yeast? Well, there are a lot of ways, but I'm going to explain three of them. Number one, yeast starts off small. But as it's kneaded into the dough, it spreads and expands the whole bread. Christianity began with a small group of disciples, but as they worked their way through the community, the number of believers expanded as well. Oh, I like that. And number two, yeast works from within to cause change that impact the way the bread looks on the outside. The same is true for those who follow Jesus. God reshapes people's hearts, causing them to change how they live on the outside. That's a good one, too. And number three, yeast works slowly and quietly, but no one can deny the impact it has on the dough to make something beautiful like a nice loaf of bread. And God also works invisibly within, but his impact on the lives of believers is undeniable. Major life change. No wonder the Bible talks a lot about yeast. Well. Jesus also warned us to watch out for Pharisee Sadducee yeast. They were who sad to say what? <laughs> Pharisee Sadducee yeast. The Pharisees and Sadducees were religious leaders who were against Jesus, and they were spreading a different kind of yeast. It too was quiet and powerful and fast spreading, but it was against Jesus, not for him. Sounds like a bad batch of dough. Oh, it was. And Jesus warns us to be on the lookout for people who are spreading untrue things. How are we supposed to know what's true and what's not? Well, ain't that the question of the generation? The best way is by reading your Bible every day and following God. If you continue to seek the Lord, He will grow you. And you too will expand and grow more and more into the image of God. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call it's the yeast I could do. And all we're gonna need is a clear bottle, a tin pan, a spoon, some dish soap, some food coloring, a funnel, some 6% hydrogen peroxide, safety glasses, a cup of hot water, and a little yeast. Now since we don't have time to watch bread rise, I thought we'd demonstrate the power of yeast in another way. Now some people call this little experiment elephant toothpaste. Elephant toothpaste? Yes. We'll take 120 milliliters of our hydrogen peroxide and pour it into our bottle. 
Then we'll add a squirt of dish soap and some food coloring and swirl it around a bit. Then we'll take one teaspoon of yeast and put it into our glass and add two tablespoons of hot water and stir it up real well with our spoon. Then we'll put on our safety glasses and pour our yeast into the bottle sitting inside the tin pan and watch the yeast go to work like this. Cool, how's that work? That's the yeast causing everything to expand. It does look like elephant toothpaste. Now you can see why God talked about yeast with regard to the kingdom and the spreading false news. Yeah, what starts off small can get out of hand quickly. Exactly. Knowing God's word and being part of the good yeast is a beautiful thing. So, Kaziah, what did you learn today? I learned that the kingdom of heaven is a lot like yeast. It can grow quietly and quickly from within, just like a loaf of bread. Exactly. And we should also be on the lookout for people spreading bad yeast. And the best way to do that is by knowing God's word. Very good. Now, I was just thinking about how God's word is also a lot like jelly bread. God's word is like jelly bread? What are you talking about? Yeah. Huh. Take a close look. What are you talking about? The closer you get to it, the more it sticks to you. Uh, good point. Want to see it again? Uh, no thanks. We'll see you around.